Inside Sim Racing is sponsored by Butt Kicker. Take your gaming to a new level of realism, immersion, and dynamics with Butt Kicker Tactile Transducers. Get 10% off of these packages by using coupon code ISR10 at thebuttkicker.com. Welcome to our E3 special report on Forza Motorsport 5. I'm Sean Cole with my good buddy, Darren Ganji. And uh, you went to the show this year. I didn't get to attend, but you got to see Forza 5 and it's a uh, really first appearance both on the show floor and then later at the party. Yep. So I want to kind of take you through the day and see how it went because I didn't get to do it. So just like you out there, I'm kind of learning from you right now. Cool. Um, for those of you who don't know, this time it's coming out on the Xbox One. Yep. So it's not going to be on the 360. And the first question that everybody's asking out there is peripherals. So Xbox One, a lot of rumors. Any insight as to what we're going to be able to use with this version of Forza? Uh, right now, no. But based on what I saw and what I've heard, the current Fnatic line of wheels and anything else Xbox 360 compatible is not going to be cross-compatible with the Xbox One. If they were, I would have imagined seeing a lot of wheels and pedals set up running Forza 5. There right. was two setups, one at E3 and one at their party. And it was just, it was, man, the Xbox One area and the PlayStation 4 areas were a zoo. Mm -hmm. um, so I figured, you know, I'm gonna be at the party, I'll try it later. Right. While I get to the party, yeah, they had some setups, mostly game pads, one wheel and pedal setup. So I, right. I, I got to wait in line, actually, Got to talk to Ian from uh, Sim HQ, which was really cool, and his son. And those two guys got to drive with me. But let's back up a little bit. Talk peripherals. Yeah. First thing I noticed. The wheel on the rig at the show. Thrustmaster. Uh-huh. And my first thoughts were, does that thing have force feedback? Yeah, so? Yeah, <laughs> it did. And it was a demo. And people were, I've heard some comments, I don't want that big box. It said right on prototype or demo only. Mm -hmm. Talking to Alan Hartman, that wheel arrived at E3 like at the same time they did. Uh -huh. So really no time to get it dialed. It wasn't tested at their, you know, at their studio. You know, Thrustmaster probably rushed to get it together. All right. And uh, then they've made an announcement that they are going to be developing peripherals for the Xbox One. So. But not necessarily that one. No, that was just a demo right. specifically for the show. Now, my keen eye, that kind of looked like a T500. It looked like with that rim, too. Right. It, it felt like it, too. I, yeah, I did drive it. And uh, actually, why don't we just get to the driving? Yeah. And what I thought, my, my thoughts on Well, what did they bolt it down to first? Oh, it was just a custom rig. Right. Uh, and I seemed to fit in it nicely, so... Uh, no motion or anything like that. It had a okay. nice sound system set up. Okay. Uh, and this T500 demo wheel. So Ian and his son went before I did. So I got to watch them drive a little bit. And we were all shooting for Tony Kanan had the fast lap. And we got some footage of me talking about it, finding out what he drove. He drove the McLaren MP12. So what did Kanan, what car did Kanan run to get the 209? Uh, he ran, he was the one This is at the or, party, not at the show. This is later. This is at the party. Okay. Yeah, I didn't touch it at the at the sh at E3. I figured again, I'm going to see it at the show. Uh, show was pretty cool, actually. Dan Grinwalt. Let's back up a little bit. <laughs> Dan Grinwalt shows up in a two seater Indy car, similar uh -huh. to the one we rode in at right. Infineon. Did a burnout in Los Angeles. They had to close off the streets. So it was a big spectacle and gets out of the car. And We've been to a few Forza parties at this point. These guys throw some crazy parties. Yep. Some indie car drivers are Tony Kanan, 8500 mm -hmm. winner. I don't have footage of it or, or images. I went and shook Tony Kanan's hand, which right. is really cool. Um, so he was there. Scott Dixon was there. Um, Newgarten, I think, is the guy's uh -huh. name. Uh, like Mr. IndyCar, this guy looks like he should be a movie or an <laughs> actor. Um, he was the one to drive in the two-seater car uh, for the... He's not in that movie, The Rush, is he? I mean, that he was looks like it, he should be. <laughs> Suppose, now, hey, that's actually something that was a cool announcement. Indy right? cars are going to be in Forza 5 and cars from the movie Rush. Mm -hmm. And I can't think of the guy's name, but he plays James Hunt in the movie Rush, which mm -hmm. I cannot wait to see. Um, also plays Thor. Yeah. You know, the blonde haired dude. I can't think of his name, but um, supposedly he was at the party earlier. But those cars are going to be in Forza right. 5, and I can't wait to try those old 70s F1 cars. Awesome. Awesome. So, Forza 5. So I'm going to tell you my impressions. 
Yeah, so how did it drive? And then, actually, I'm going to tell you some other stuff that those that Alan Hartman and John Wendell told me. I, I got to talk to them. Drove really cool. Mm -hmm. Graphics, amazing. Some of the lighting effects, the sun shining through the buildings, just incredible. Uh, the physics felt really good. I, I, I turned off all the aids, so no traction control, no analog brakes. And that McLaren was stepping out, and I could feel it stepping out. And the force feedback wasn't totally dialed in yet. Uh -huh. I could feel it stepping out. I was, I got some footage of me correcting here. I ended up losing it, um, but we all, you know, ran like one lap. Uh huh. That's all I got was at this two-minute track, which was really neat. Um, I think it was in Rome or something. Um, but, and I believe they say their tracks are going to be laser scanned. Hmm. So this was a laser scanned version of whatever track this was. It was, a, it was a fantasy track. Uh huh. Felt really, really good. Again, the force feedback wasn't totally dialed in, but I, I was definitely impressed. Yeah, and how did your lap time compare? Well, I did have to do the rewind because I lost it, and I did only get one lap. I guess the, I, but there were people waiting. I didn't want to hold up the line, but uh, I beat Kanan by like five seconds. Yeah, hey now. With the rewind, but I think, and I say it at the end, if I could have got one more lap, All right. I could have. You would have done it there? Yeah, easily. So did you get a chance to play with the, the controller at all? No. Okay. I didn't want to. So, but I, it worked with the wheels. I have honestly like... no interest in. I did not touch a gamepad. Right. For all of E3. Right. I have no interest really in playing a gamepad game. I mean, if it's like a MotoGP where that's all you. I just you know I want to drive. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, what about frame rate? I mean, Forza has always been known for good graphics, but frame rate is really where I think they've excelled. Are they maintaining it? I mean, new system, seemed, new graphics. It seemed flawless. I mean, I didn't see any frame rate issues at all. Right. So, um, yeah, looked incredible. So I mentioned I got to talk to Alan Hartman mm -hmm. and John Wendell. I don't think we have any footage of that, but um, met up, they, asked, they, they always ask our opinion. They mm -hmm. wanted to know what we thought. And so told them what I thought and then started asking some questions about the force feedback. And they said, man, we just got that wheel. So it's not dialed in yet. He's like, just wait till we get it dialed in. Uh, talked about the IndyCar and the Formula One car uh -huh. being in the game. And we're really looking forward to that. I asked it. He said, we really got some stuff coming for you hardcore guys. And so I asked, all right, IndyCar, Tony Kanan mentioned up on the stage about running, racing against him in the Indy 500. All right. Are you going to be able to run a full Indy 500? Yeah. And he's like, well, we got the track and we got the cars. So I'm like, well. So what else would be missing? Can you do pit stops? Oh, I don't know about that. So <laughs> Maybe, maybe not? Yeah. So, it's, you know, it, it seems like they're going to be on the same level they always have been, you know, Simcade. So there's mm -hmm. some fun tuner stuff, painting right. stuff. But then, you know, the sound effects, amazing. Great sounds. I mean, and I could hear them pretty good. They had a cool sound system. But the sound, sound effects were amazing. Sound uh, and the uh, graphics, again, were amazing. It's all, it seems like it's going to be a great package. Awesome. Uh, so one question for you. Last year we saw Horizon, which is sort of, the off year for it. Anyone out there might be concerned that it would be influenced towards Horizon. Do you no. I mean, this is still Forza, yeah, every bit still Forza. Very much, yeah, very much. The UI seemed very Forza-ish. Right. You know, the biggest change was the really enhanced graphics. I mean, right. the graphics were just amazing. Uh, and the sounds were amazing. The physics felt great. So I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. If I get an Xbox One, Do November. They They're talking November. So right with the, yep. the console itself. Yep. So it'll be a launch title. All right. And uh, when you talk to Alan, you tell him, I mean, they always come down to our home turf at E3. Now we're up here. We're not far from them. What and about I mentioned that. And he said, he's like, yeah, aren't you guys in Spokane? Yeah, Alan. And I'm holding you to it. You and John both said we could come visit you guys at the studio. We would love to. We'd love to get another a, a good in-depth behind the scenes of uh, Forza 5 before it comes out. That'd be and great. Visit you guys up, at, you know, up in Redmond at, at your studio and check everything out and maybe drive that Indy car or the Formula One car before it gets released. So mm -hmm. anyway, we're going to work on that for you guys. Hopefully we can get up there soon and, and meet up with our good friends at Turn 10. It was great seeing them again and great going to that party. Had a blast. Saw my friend Darren, uh, who's part of the Xbox community. I don't know if we yeah. have a shot of him, but he was there. Again, I saw Ian and his son from Sim HQ. Had a great time. Terry and I had a blast. I would have liked to have gone to the Forza party. <laughs> that was the highlight of the E3 trip, for sure. Those yeah. guys put, know how to put on a, on a launch party, and, and we had a great time. Yeah, and fun guys, yeah. Yep. Celebrities, Bob Bondurant was there. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think Terry was so excited. We got bouncy footage from him walking around the whole party. So 
It's kind of yeah. hard to do your job at the Forza party. It is. <laughs> it's very hard. I've been there. It's hard. Got some great driving footage, though. I yeah. got driving footage of myself, Ian, and his son. At, got videos of those posted. They've been up for a little while now. You can check those out, and we'll have links to them here in our description. So that's it for Forza 5. Very cool. Looking forward to it. Looking, It's looking really cool. So for Sean Cole, I'm Darren Ganji. That wraps up our... Forza 5, Forza Motorsport 5 coverage from E3 2013. We'll see you next time.